Recently, we reported on a ridiculous amount of spending on ammunition for federal agencies. And the examples we gave was the IRS spending $725,000 on hollow point ammo. Um, in addition to that, the Railroad Retirement Board also arming themselves pretty well. But what's recently been reported is that the USDA has currently ordered hundreds of 40 caliber submachine guns. Well, <laughs> why does the USDA need 40 caliber submachine guns? Why does the retirement or Railroad Retirement Board need guns? Why does the IRS need guns? Well, that's what this video is about. We're going to take a look at why do these agencies need guns. Well, to start with, there's, you know, within all the federal agencies, there's obviously going to be violations. Um, that's why these federal agencies are where they are. And when these violations occurred in the past, it would be up to U.S. Marshals or the FBI to then intervene, make arrests, serve warrants, seize property, that kind of thing. It was in 1978 that a law was passed that authorizes any sort of inspector general special agent to work as a federal officer to make arrests, execute warrants, and carry firearms. According to the USDA Inspector General of Investigations, they have obtained more than 2,000 indictments and 1,350 convictions. Now, with the IRS, what I'll say is that the IRS, you know, if you've ever been dealt with the IRS personally, it's one thing just to talk to them on the phone or go to their office. But when one of their officers <laughs> walks into your business, um, I've had that experience take place um, at a school where, a, where an officer, an IRS officer came in and, and she clearly was in the military. She was major so-and-so. Um, and she came in with guns and, and she was very much wanting to take control of the situation right away. So, um, you know, and, and if they were seizing property, obviously there would be uh, armed agents involved as well. Now, the Railroad Retirement Board is one that always has people scratching their head. But it, what's fascinating about the Railroad Retirement Board is it's one of the largest retirement boards out there. Um, there's a lot of people drawing, putting in, a lot of money going around in the Railroad Retirement Board. Um, there's a lot of scams going along, uh, around. There's a lot of uh, perjury going around. Uh, there's a lot of people trying to scam the financial system. Um, there's over 50 different field offices for the Railroad Retirement Board all across the country. And any time a crime is committed against that financial institution, they have their own special agents who will go and they can serve warrants, make arrests, seize property, that kind of thing. So um, that's really it. It really comes down to a 1978 law that essentially took the responsibility out of the FBI's hands, out of the U.S. Marshal's hands, and put it into the hands of those agencies. Now, with that being said, I do see why they need uh, to be armed. I definitely do see why they, they should be armed. Why do they need so much ammo? The, the problem that I have is the unusual spending. It's unusual. It's, you know, you don't need 1.6 billion rounds uh, for uh, home security. You, you just, you don't. Uh, and, and then where to go? Like where did all that, you know, you don't need $725,000 worth of ammo, hollow point ammo, and again, I've said this in other videos, you know they're not paying a buck around getting it for the IRS. Probably paying pennies on the rounds. You're talking millions and millions of rounds of hollow points. That's not practice ammo. Uh, why? What is, what is that for? So, um, again, you know, federal agencies arming themselves pretty hardcore. 40 caliber submachine guns to the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Uh, better not make them mad. <laughs> Any thoughts or insight on it, put it in the comments below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. If you feel called to support this channel with Patreon, that link is also below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests, so please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.